The Secretary of State Mike Pompeo issuing a stern warning to the socialist Maduro regime in Venezuela following reports that opposition leader Juan Guaido's top aide was kidnapped in a raid. Listen. We think we understand uh, how this went down. We think we understand uh, those who were involved. Um, we will make sure that the world knows who those people were. Uh, we will do all that we can to hold those specific individuals who engage in this conduct that is so deeply antithetical to what the Venezuelan people have demanded, uh, the democracy that we demand in, democ in Venezuela. Uh, we will do all that we can to hold the individuals accountable, those who conducted this activity, and those who ordered it. Secretary Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton both calling for the immediate release of Guaido's top aide. Joining me now is the author of Dark Winter, retired Brigadier General Anthony Tata. General, could the pressure finally be getting to Maduro because this could be a sign of weakness, according to Guaido? Well, you know, that's one way to look at it. Uh, what uh, Maduro is trying to do, though, is uh, disassemble Guaido's uh, team uh, to weaken uh, Guaido. So it's a chess match of sorts, and uh, it's a two twofold purpose here. One is to weaken uh, Guaido, and, and the other is to Maduro is testing the international community's uh, response to this. If, uh, if it's just words and tweets that uh, come out of this, it will embolden Maduro, mm. and Maduro could be preparing for a much bigger move against Guaido himself. So I would not be overconfident if I was Guaido. What we need to do is to make sure that we can back up, the, the international community can back up uh, all the uh, words and the tweets uh, with some type of diplomatic, economic, military concerted action, a sophisticated response that can begin to uh, show the Venezuelan people uh, that uh, Maduro's days are numbered. Right. But right now, Guaido, I assume, is untouchable and protected by the U.S. Well, that, that would be the assumption, but I never underestimate the enemy, uh, given all of my military experience. And, and uh, Maduro and, and uh, his forces are, uh, you know, continuing to uh, dominate and repress. And, and I would not underestimate their ability to uh, get a cheap shot in, as yeah. they've done on That's what Marrero. they do. Yeah. Yes, With exactly. the intelligence That's, officials, uh, you know, I'm, I'm reading some right. of the uh, details of this arrest. And basically, the intelligence officials who are loyal to Maduro, they planted rifles, a grenade at the apartment, and then took Marrero to an undisclosed location. Who's to say that they can't use these same tactics against Guaido himself? That, that's right. And, and, and so you've got to believe that the chief of staff is one of the most trusted advisors, advisors of Guaido. Yeah. He's probably being tortured right now. Well, General Tita, we're showing right now these pictures of uh, Marrero, the chief of staff to Guaido's apartment after being taken in by Maduro's, well, let's call them thugs because that's what they are. And as you see, it's, uh, yeah, these are some, I would say, sad pictures that we're seeing of a, a life and a home of a man and his family. Yeah, and you have to you have to believe, Susan, that Maduro's forces are torturing uh, Marrero and trying to get information about the location of Guaido and and uh, trying to you know infiltrate his network. I mean, what more important person could you capture other than Guaido himself than the chief of staff? And and given the brutality of Maduro's regime, you know that he's being tortured. Yeah. And, and you know, so how much can one man withstand uh, with, with his family and uh, being being separated from his family and potentially? His family under threat. Uh, and so, you know, there's a lot to be concerned about here, and it, de it demands some kind of response from the international community. What, what type of response? I'm surprised it's lasted this long, General Tata. At what point uh, does it call for maybe some military intervention? Well, you know, Susan, it's always a tipping point there, a, a fine line between letting the problem resolve itself uh, ex with external support and, and getting inside and, and, and getting into that tar pit and, and uh, fixing it uh, from the inside out. Yeah. I, I really advocate for the use of military force, in particular to bring in humanitarian aid, medical, clean water supplies to the people in the outlying regions, and then uh, uh, perhaps okay. a surgical strike that can... Um, you know, prevent Maduro from doing the types of things he's doing now against some of his more elite forces that protect him and mm -hmm. execute these raids. Yeah. Okay. General Tata, thank you so much as always.